Mike Tyson, the most brutal heavyweight boxer in history. He stormed the ring and destroyed every opponent he faced. In this episode, we will overview his intimidating personality. Mike spikes in. He leaves the right hand. Down he goes. I don't think he'll get up from this. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike is a perfect example of hard work, dedication, and self-confidence. Let's get back in 1978, Brooklyn. At the time, the city was far away from a safe, clean place as it is today. It was a city of homicides, drugs, and gang wars. At a young age, Mike was a wild kid already involved in street gangs. A boxer, Bobby Stewart, recognized Mike's potential and sent him to legendary trainer Cus D'Amato. Mike reached his record of 24 and 3 and turned professional in 1985. Since then, nobody could overcome his quickness and power. Every opponent that faced him were overwhelmed by his fearless appearance. Another avalanche of leather and Singleton goes down for the third time. I'm prepared for everything. I trained for seven weeks and I had the most awkward sparring partner. The mentality that Mike used was simple. Enter the ring with a total lack of fear. The heavyweight champion of the world comes into the ring. This is why we're here. That was the key that made him so dangerous and brutal. He was never scared because he knew if anyone is going to die in the ring, he's going to be the one who will do the killing. He nails him with a right hand and puts him right back. And you see the eyes are wide open right there. And at that stage, I was standing almost right on top of him. Here it is, bang, it's a left hook, and that's all there is to it. A total self-confidence was the key to success. On top of that, Mike was training like a beast. He had a perfect balance of speed, agility, and destructive power. Being only 13 years old, he was hitting heavy bags that weighed 300 pounds. Nevertheless, he was sparring adults and kept knocking them out. Before any fight, he used to train up to 60 hours a week, 2,000 sit-ups, 500 dips, 500 push-ups, and 500 shrugs a day. He used to do 16 rounds of heavy sparring throughout the day, and this was only a small part of his daily routine. A combination of dedication and extreme discipline led to amazing results. So, what made him so successful besides heavy training? Mike, as other athletes, was thinking big. There was no doubt in his mind that he will become a world heavyweight champion. He loved what he did. He loved boxing. If you ask any other successful individual, they will tell you that success comes from a truly burning desire. Constantly body punches. When I was, I was hitting him with body punching, I heard him actually he was crying in there, making woman gestures like, oh, 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 I can't I find it, but I knew that he was breaking down. So. Mike was confident with everything he did in the ring and outside of it. There's never any doubts in my mind because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's facts, I'm the best, you know what I mean? I sometimes, I don't want to believe in myself, but it's the truth, I'm the best. <laughs> he even owned a tiger as a pet and used to play with him with no sign of fear. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Press like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next video.